Welcome. This slideshow is a brief overview of individual development plans for graduate students and postdoctoral researchers and scholars. First, let's consider what is an individual development plan, or IDP. An IDP is a written plan that helps you focus on and advance your academic and professional development. Typically, an IDP involves five general steps. Self-assessment, where you examine your skills, interests, and values. Writing your IDP goals, in which you consider learning goals that involve building a skill or knowledge. Or performance goals, where you determine a performance metric you'd like to meet. Discussion with your mentor, where you share some or all of your IDP, and perhaps you have multiple mentors. Implementation of the goals you've set, and reviewing and revising your IDP at least once or twice each year. These steps are not rigidly sequential. Next, let's consider why you should have an IDP. Your IDP is an opportunity to focus on what you need academically and professionally. It's also a campus-wide recommendation that all grads and postdocs at UW-Madison have IDPs, which indicates that this is important and supported by campus. IDPs help you identify your strengths, interests, and values. They give you a place and a format to consider your learning and performance goals. Your IDP serves as a communication tool between you and your mentors. An IDP is motivating when you celebrate milestones and successes. Your IDP is personalized to reflect your goals and how your goals change over time. Developing an IDP and goal setting is a skill that you'll use again and again in your professional life. Research indicates goal setting leads to enhanced performance, success, and satisfaction. And effective October 2014, for those of you on NIH funding, having an IDP is a requirement. Okay, next, let's talk about how to get started. You're taking a step in the right direction by watching this summary video, which will orient you to IDPs. Also, spend some time on our website, grad.wisc.edu slash pd slash IDP, where you'll find two recommended templates. The UW-Madison IDP template, which includes instructions and examples, and is flexible and appropriate for all disciplines, as well as my IDP, which is an interactive IDP tool developed by the AAAS for STEM disciplines. Additionally, your program or department may have created their own IDP template as another option. On our website, you'll also find resources and tips for you and your mentor. Remember that IDPs may be new to your mentor too, and that's why resources exist to support them. Also, consider attending a workshop or IDP peer learning group meeting held by the graduate school or other units on campus. You'll also find information about the IDP reporting system on our website. This is a communication tool which is intended to help you, your mentor, and your PI or grants administrator track use of IDPs. The IDP reporting system does not record the content of your IDP, which is private to you. Now let's revisit those five IDP steps in detail. First is self-assessment. This is your chance to look inward and think carefully about what you're good at, what you're not so good at as areas for growth, what interests you in terms of your research or academic work and professional pursuits, and what your values are that should inform the important decisions you're making as a grad student or postdoc. It's not just about identifying skills and skill building, but also about your interests and values, what you really want from your graduate study and career. The UW-Madison IDP template includes a self-assessment tool 
as does my IDP. You can find other assessment tools on our website or from your Career Services office. The next step is to develop goals and write the plan. After taking time to assess and reflect, now you're ready to develop goals and actually write your IDP. Your goals should be challenging and be attached to a specific and realistic implementation plan. We recommend using the SMART model for creating goals. Your goals should be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. As you develop your goals, think about your responsibilities as a graduate student or postdoc, milestones you need to achieve, expectations of your training program, scholarly activities you would like to pursue, etc. For example, you might aim to obtain a fellowship, submit a paper for publication, present a research poster at a conference, explore career options by conducting informational interviews, or develop job interview skills by participating in a workshop. Here are some tips just to get you started writing your IDP. Set important goals and commit strongly to them. Set specific goals and specific implementation steps. Set your own goals in addition to those provided to you as program learning outcomes or professional competencies. Recognize the difference between performance goals and learning goals and use each appropriately. Creatively integrate goals that fit closely together or complement each other. Start good habits that you carry with you throughout your career. Seek feedback. Use your IDP as a structure for a conversation with your mentor. And have a strategy for combating things that distract you from your goals. Writing goals and implementation plans is a tough step and should take some time. Keep in mind that the Graduate School offers workshops and IDP peer learning groups to help grads and postdocs with the IDP. This summary video won't cover it all. Next, you'll be ready to discuss your IDP with your mentor. Keep in mind that the IDP is private to you. You choose which parts you want to discuss with your mentor and your primary mentor or faculty advisor might not be the best person to consult with on all goals. So if you find this is the case, seek out others who can help you. Forming a mentoring team can be a great approach. Bear in mind that the IDP is a new activity for many faculty and they are learning how to navigate it as well. You should be prepared to explain the process to them and direct your mentors to the resources that are available to help them prepare. If your mentor is unfamiliar with IDPs, send them to the Graduate School's IDP website or print the IDP Summary for Mentors, also found on the Graduate School IDP website. Approach your mentor at a time when you feel they would be most responsive. Send them your IDP draft in advance so they can review it and prepare for the meeting. When you discuss the IDP with them, you will have already done much of the work of assessment and goal setting. Utilize your mentor's expertise to more fully flesh out your plan. Ask for help with any implementation steps that you may be unclear about and see if they have any additional recommendations to get you started. If you're on NIH funding, you and your mentor should both log the IDP conversation and any additional steps you'd like to in the IDP reporting system. This system serves as a communication tool between you, your mentor, and your PI or grants administrator. Your PI will need to report annually that grads and postdocs he or she supports are using IDPs. The IDP reporting system helps them track this. These are just some tips to get you started. Find more tips for having this discussion with your mentor at our website. And finally, implement your plan. Follow the goals and implementation plans you developed in Step 2 and fleshed out with your advisor in Step 3. If you stumble or get distracted, that's okay. Don't give up on your IDP. Just start back at it again. Keep in mind some strategies to help you get back on track should you get distracted from your goals. For example, if you find peer support valuable, participate in a workshop 
or IDP Peer Learning Group hosted by the Graduate School, or form your own IDP Peer Group to keep each other on track. Set up a calendar with reminders for yourself to check your progress regularly. And if you use My IDP, it sends automatic reminders. Remember that you should plan to review and revise your IDP at least once or twice per year with your mentor and on a more frequent basis as you complete tasks and goals remember to revisit your plan to make updates and add new goals and again as a recap this video is just a crash course in IDPs please be sure to go back and spend some time on our website consider participating in workshops or IDP peer learning groups and utilize the other resources available to support you and your mentors in this process. Thank you and good luck.